the classics identity the stars of their generation and provide the yearly narrative around which racing revolves. The 2000 Guineas, the 1000 Guineas, the Oaks, the Derby and the St. Ledger are the races that really matter, like majors in golf or grand slams in tennis. And they have serious history. The St. Ledger, the last of the quintet to be run in September of every year, began in 1776. They became collectively known as the Classics in 1815, and ever since have crowned the best three-year-olds in training. With the Guineas taking place at Newmarket this weekend, News Total Sport takes a closer look at the Classics. Read, learn more about the 2018 flat racing calendar in the UK 2000 Guineas The 2018 Classic season kicks off Saturday with the 2000 Guineas over the turf of the Rolly Mile Racecourse in Newmarket, Suffolk traditionally known as the home of English flat racing. The first recorded race in the town was a match for £100 between horses owned by Lord Salisbury and the Marquess of Buckingham in 1622. The 2000 Guineas is a straight mile test for thoroughbred three-year-old colts and fillies and was first run in 1809. It was instigated by Sir Charles Bunbury, who had earlier established the Derby at Epsom. The name refers to the original prize fund, a guinea was equivalent to 21 shillings, or pound. The prize fund is now £500,000, $680,800, with £283,550 going to the winner. The 2000 guineas stakes, as it is properly known, represents the first leg of the English Triple Crown, alongside the Derby and the St. Ledger. But the demands for both speed and stamina, from the mile of the guineas to the mile and a half of the derby and the mile and three quarters of the St. Ledger, mean the feat is rarely attempted. The last to horse to clinch the triple crown, and the only one since World War II, was Nijinsky in 1970. Since then only Nashwin, 1989, See the Stars, 2009, and Camelot, 2012, have won the guineas and the derby. The Great Frankel, 2000 Guineas winner in 2011, didn't even attempt it. Irish trainer Aidan O'Brien has saddled a record eight winners, including last year's champion Churchill. He fields the favourite Gustav Klimt alongside the impressive Saxon warrior this year. 1000 Guineas The race is held over the same course at Newmarket a day after the 2000 Guineas but this is for fillies only. It was first staged in 1814 and represents the first leg of the Phillies Triple Crown, with the Oaks and St. Ledger, but again this is rarely attempted. The last horse to win the Phillies Triple Crown was oh so sharp in 1985. As the 2000 guineas can act as a trial for the Derby, so the 1000 guineas can be seen as a trial for the Oaks. The O'Brien trained minding was the last horse to win both in 2016, but the first since Kazia in 2002. The Philly winter gave O'Brien the Guineas double last year and he went on to clinch four of the five classics, deprived only by the John Gosden trained enable in the Oaks. The prize money has been the same as the 2000 Guineas since 2001. Read, could Brexit handicap the mother of all stud books? The Oaks the third classic of the season kicks off the Derby meeting at Epsom, south of London, in early June. The Oaks was the second classic to be established, in 1779, and was named after an estate near Epsom leased to the 12th Earl of Derby in the 18th century. Racing was first recorded at Epsom in 1661. The race is a step up in distance from the Guineas, run over a mile and a half on the undulating downs. The course, the same as for the Derby the following day, is roughly U-shaped with a climb from the start, followed by a sweeping left-hand turn, Tattenham corner, into a mostly downhill straight, finishing with a stiff climb in the last few hundred yards. Since 1892, horses have each carried nine stone in the race. Enable, which went on to land the Irish Oaks and the prestigious Pre de l'Arc de Triumph at Longchamp the same season, holds the race record of two minutes seconds. The purse is £500,000. Read. Racing's Everest aims to win back Snapchat generation The Derby Derby Day is the pinnacle of the British flat racing season and a highlight of the cultural and sporting calendar.
since its inception in 1780 it has attracted both the upper echelons of English aristocracy, the Queen herself has only missed two runnings since 1946, along with huge crowds made up of every level of society for a colourful day out on the Downs. In 2017, more than 150,000 attended the two-day festival. The Derby was named after Lord Derby, but the tale goes the naming rights came down to a coin toss between him and Sir Charles Bunbury during a party where the idea for the race was formed. The Derby's long history features the 1913 edition, dubbed the Suffragette Derby, when women's rights campaigner Emily Davidson threw herself under the thundering hooves of King George B's horse A. N. M. and died four days later. The mile and a half, 1 M 4 F, test, for both colts and fillies, identifies the supreme all-round horses of their generation and has spawned superstars such as Seabird, Niji and Casey, Mill Reef, Nashwin, Shigar, who won by a record 10 lengths, and Galileo. Only six fillies have won the Derby in its history, most recently Fifi Nella in 1916. Read, how the Derby was nearly named the Bunbury the Sir Michael Stout trained workforce set the course record of 2 minutes seconds in 2010. Legendary jockey Lester Piggott won a record nine derbies between 1954 and 1983. Epsom is the complete test of a horse, said O'Brien, who has saddled five derby winners including Galileo, now one of the world's most valuable horses at stud. They need balance, speed, and stamina. It's uphill, downhill, sideways. It's a very intense atmosphere. O'Brien's 40 to 1 Outsider Wings of Eagles, written by Padraig Beggy, won in 2017. The Derby is Britain's richest race and was worth pound million in 2017 with the winner receiving £921,500. St. Ledger The final classic of the season takes place at Doncaster in the north of England in September and is raced at the extended distance of a mile and three quarters, 1M6F. The left-handed race, for three-year-old colts and fillies, was devised by Anthony St. Ledger, a local army officer and politician. The first running of what was then a two-mile race was known as a sweepstake of 25 guineas, and was held at Cantley Common in 1776. The name was changed to reflect St. Ledger's influence the following year, but in 1778 it moved to Townmore, which has a racing history going back to the 16th century. The race has variously been staged at Newmarket, Manchester, York, Thirsk and Ayr because of war, subsidence and redevelopment. O'Brien's Grey Cold Capri, written by Ryan Moore, won last year. The St. Ledger commands a purse of £700,000 with £396,970 going to the winner.